been driving past this thing for a couple years and I wanted to take a look at it, so I finally stopped in and I met the farm manager. So my wife thinks I'm crazy. Whenever I'm driving down the road and I see something kind of cool, I'll stop and I'll talk to the people. And so that's what I'm gonna show you. This is really, really cool. Check it out. This is a greenhouse. But what's really cool about it is how it's built. It's built into the side of the hill. Okay, there's the hill. And what's really neat is how it's designed. Originally, the farm manager was telling me that it, was, it had some mylar on the inside. And that's what was used to heat it up. Or the sun would heat it up and it would keep everything warm in the summer. Right now, I'm standing under it. The doors are open, the fan is on, and it is hot in here. Look over there at the concrete. That's amazing. All of this is aluminum. Oh my gosh, look at the size of the metal. The size of the glass. Wow. Ooh. This thing is absolutely amazing. Look at this. It has electric, it has water. Look at all the beds. Look at the vents. Oh my goodness. I wonder if that's alive. Nope. This is absolutely amazing. I'm guessing that's used for radiant heat. The structure is just astounding. That's tempered glass, he said. Now what you're not seeing is there's glass on the outside and on the inside is a film. And that film created a space in between it which would keep the greenhouse warm and in the winter, he said he didn't have to run the heat very much. This thing was designed back in the 70s. This is really cool. Since then, the film has been removed or has fallen down. It's, it's no longer here. And they put in some shade cloth, which seems to do, it does, does work really well. Once you get out in here where I'm walking now, you can really feel the heat. That's something you don't see every day. That's a big old Coke. You can see some of the film right there on the inside. You see it's kind of broken up. All this is glass. Wow. I don't, that's probably just quarter inch. Oh, this thing is so cool. I love the concrete. The fact that it's aluminum, that just blows my mind. Look how straight it is. Goodness gracious. Now that's a greenhouse. These look to be about three foot. Yeah, two foot to three foot by eight foot panels. And there's a lot of them. Now that's special. Ooh. At some point this must have broke. Look how they fixed it. This holds, this part right here holds the glass in. So that's telling me the glass has probably shifted a little bit. This one, you can see it right here, shifted down a little bit. I'm not saying that'd be an easy fix. You have to pull all the screws out. That'd be difficult for sure to get it back in place, but gosh. Well, that is a lot of aluminum. 
Look what they did here in the corner. Hey, you can see me right there. They welded it. Wow. Check that out. That's really cool. Beautiful boxwoods. Not as much glass. Built into the bank. That's what makes this thing cool. Hey, if you know where I am, or you've ever been here, let me know in the comments below. This is really, really cool. Thanks a lot for watching our video. Every day is something new on the farm. This was a special day. I was delivering syrup down to Harris Teeter in North Carolina, and I've been seeing this for a while. It was just so much fun just to stop and talk to the farm manager. He let me come in. How cool is that? This is a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for watching. Do consider giving us a thumbs up. Until next time, God bless you. Now that is an old school heater right there, buddy. Wow. So cool. The heating system down here, that just blows my mind. Hot water throughout the whole thing.